Hello and welcome back to Roll Slow Gaming and our Let's Play series here in Football Manager 2019 with Bath City Football Club. And uh, we are in the closing stages here of our second season in the Verna National League South. And we haven't really been playing in that good throughout the season, but somehow we are still in second place. And we have five matches to go and uh, well, we really need to finish top three to have a, or the best chance possible here to get a promotion to Venera National League. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too far up to possibly get a win. We are 10 points behind, so there's a theoretical chance that we would be able to win the title, but not a realistic, I'd say, at this stage. So we'll move forward here towards our game against Gloucester as an away team who are 15th in the league. Should be an alright pretty easy game for us. Let's hope that's the case. And uh, anyway, before we get into that, do remember to smash the like button if you like what you see here if, on this series and this episode and everything. And do comment about just about anything. Keep Please be engaged in what we do and how we do it and uh, I'll take everything into consideration and check and read everything. And the most positive and informative comment on each episode will get pinned, just so you know. And last and most important, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so if you want, so you're sure that you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Royal Slow Gaming. So here's the pre-match tactical advice from our assistant manager Jim Rollo so we'll follow this team instruction to add it's a pretty good option and we are slight favorites here according to the bookmakers against Gloucester and we got paid here 6k apparently for uh, uh, our player Manola here that are 17 years old, that apparently somehow played here uh, our first season. I don't, still don't understand exactly how, uh, but uh, nonetheless he's doing quite alright uh, for him actually in Cheltenham. And last week we had an okay training week with an average rating of 7.21 here. And let's check the individual stats here and persons and see what have happened here and nothing special we are due to do some praising pretty soon uh, but for now we'll do criticizing here all players below 6.5 and we couldn't criticize any of the worst players well we could criticize Stern but we won't bother with him, he just gets angry and he will get the kick at the end of this season. And we'll let all players in the senior team to play in uh, the under 20 series for 60 man minutes per match until they are matched that needs match sharpness. So of course not everyone in the senior team are allowed to play in the under 20 series, or only those that need it. And uh, we'll check here how well Sparta did in his last game. I believe he was very good, and yes, he was. Uh, so we'll let him be in the team at the moment. But Sparta is our second choice, or first choice, actually. So uh, we should play him. But for now, we will play it like this. And what we also should have here, I see, is definitely a striker in the team are on the bench so we'll actually move uh, Lewis off the bench here for now I feel and we'll actually have Oliver on the bench instead of Malalus and we'll move forward here and see what this match can bring us So, a highlight here, straight from the kickoff, no, it went away, which it usually does, but not right, just always. 
most of the cases it does. So let's see here if we can find Wellstone. Wellstone we have pretty there in the middle. They have taken the lead here against the Deleuze Hamlet on an own goal. So uh, we have four matches left to play after this one. So uh, if they win this match, definitely no case whatsoever in uh, reaching the title. We get a high limit here. Stern and Brunt just outside the uh, post, unfortunately, here. So this should be a win and a pretty important one at that if we manage to win. Uh, not much happened here in the first half. The first half whistle is here. So the scoreline after one half is 0-0 zero zero for Bath City versus Gloucester. Shots is 2-2. Two to two. Shots on target 1-0 to zero and possession 46-54%. Um, looking at the ratings here, we have uh, all the lads performing all right, um, but we have a few at 6.3, among them Adloid or only Adloid, Adloy, and we have uh, Paxman with not the greatest game either. But overall, it looks all right. We should just keep or start shouting here, I guess, with the man more, for example, and see if we get reaction we want and we do get that in the body language and we have a highlight here in the 54th minute Brunt with a throw in to Genovese and let's see what he does here and it's actually a red card here or a second yellow card here for Lindley I believe so we'll actually move our mentality up here straight away to very attacking uh, since they are one play short and we really need to win the game keep shouting the man more here and we are now in almost in the 70 minute mark and we still don't have a goal and we definitely need to be switching things up here so we'll put on Sangaria and we'll actually play him we'll play him as a Masala as well and who more? We have Adloid and not really performing, so we'll put in Oliver. And uh, Hatton is not performing, and this time we don't have uh, Lewis in the on, our, on the bench, so we'll do like uh, not switch anyone more out at the moment, and we'll shout the man more here as soon as we can. Now we get a highlight here, free kick from Gloucester, just outside the bar and the post. So we'll shout, show some passion here next time. And nothing much seems to be happening here, even though this is a key match and they are one play short. And yeah, the final whistle here coming in a second and should be here and we are only at the draw here so missed chance to get something happen here and that's the final whistle and uh, the final scoreline then 0-0 zero zero for Bath City versus Closter 4-6 on shots and 2-0 on shots on target and possession is 48-52% to 52%. so not at all pleased with the result or the performance here from the lads they should have been able to do a lot better, I feel. Uh, looking at the stats, uh, a lot of the players had alright ratings, but not more. So, uh, not great at all. But somehow we still uh, are second in, in the league here. And uh, Wellston then actually lost points here. So, if we would have won that game, we would be only 8 points behind them with 4 matches to go. Uh, which wouldn't have been impossible, but pretty close to. Uh, 10 points on uh, 4 matches is even more impossible, of course. Uh, and we currently only have, uh, well, 1 point clear of 4th place. So we really would have uh, needed that win. Uh, and next match coming up is at home against Enfin Town. And it's only in 2 days or 1 day, so to say. Uh, which will be tough, but it's at home at least, so hopefully we can uh, make something good here. 
and I guess are there on our form a little bit that we have been drawing a lot here in the end and losing points unfortunately. Um, we get some pre-match tactical advice here um, and nothing special to take note of. And we are a slight favorites according to the bookmakers here uh, on the upcoming match against Enfield. I will do no comment here regarding the pitch uh, condition. And we get some uh, scouting reports here on the players that we scouted. And this is definitely not good at the moment. So McWilliams is definitely uh, one player that uh, would be very, very good to sign. Uh, I can't think that we will be able to sign him, but uh, we'll add him to the shortlist indefinitely for now. And we have uh, the same thing here with Norrington and Davis. And we'll add him to shortlists, but not indefinitely for six months to start with, actually. And I think we'll do the same thing here with Stubbs. Add him to shortlist for six months. to the team selection here very shortly. So the team selection done. They did all players did an alright game more or less last match so and uh, we will actually bring in Sparta here instead of Stern. And we have a lot of players who are tired now, but uh, that is just to be expected when we have these close matches. And I don't really think I want to change any of the players out since we don't really have uh, that much of a backup we have for defense center and sure here instead of Stuart, but Stuart is so much better than. Sangaria, so I don't really want to do that and the same case is here with Bront. Bront is so much better than anyone else we can put in the, in the team. So we'll play him even though he's a bit tired. We'll just switch him out if needed a little bit early. So we'll kick off here and play. And hope that we can get in a good result here. And this is definitely a key match here for us being in the top three, uh, losing this game, and I think it will be pretty tough. Drawing or winning, and it is all right, or should be pretty all right uh, for us with a chance of being top three. We do have our first highlight here in the 23rd minute, uh, looking to be for Envin Town, and that we or they make a pretty bad through ball. So maybe not the case, and we play a good through ball up to Adroid, and here's the cross to Brunt, and it's a goal here for Pass City, making it 1-0 to zero here in the 23rd minute, and a very, very important goal here once again. Well, I just hope we can keep this together, but a very nice counter-attack there, and a good play by both Adeloy and Brunt, a very good uh, uh, pair of strikers actually, actually and a good... Uh, um, yeah, good, uh, good. Uh, well, they are very good playing together, basically. And here's the corner for uh, Enfin Town. Ward coming out there securely, taking care of the ball. So that's good. And I'm guessing the highlight isn't that. So we'll see here if it's to us or if it's to Enfin Town. We play the ball back and forth here at, at the moment, and. Uh, they break the ball, but it only goes down to our keeper. 
and up to Betten to Genovese to Rig on the left side here pretty darn tight and a long ball up to Brandt Brandt taking care of the ball and says it's into Adelon and it's a goal for Bad City making the lead here 2-0 two, two, for Bad City versus Enfield Town and again here on pretty much a counter and again also on a pretty long through ball and a very good stuff there with uh, the cross in or pass in from Brunton and nice by Adeloy uh, passing or sprinting by his defender there or, and getting through his marking so very nice and all the minutes to go here of the first half And that's the first off, so the score line here, 2-0 two to zero for Bassett versus Enfield Town. Shots 74, shots on target 3-0 to zero and possession 52-48%. to 48%. And let's check the ratings here. So all players performing really well. And both our strike is at 7.8, which is very nice. So if we only can continue that throughout the second half here, and it will be no problem whatsoever winning this game. So hopefully we can keep it together here. So we all have pretty tired players in our team and that's the same case for Enfield Town here. So we'll definitely do a few substitutions here at the 60 minute mark. So one of the players that is very tired and not really 100% sharp is Sparta so we'll put in Stern instead of him and who are more most tired we'll actually put in uh, Sangre instead of Steward who's very tired but also have a yellow card uh, both are uh, right and left back is playing a very good game Actually, so we'll leave it at this, I believe. Right now, we'll put on uh, Oliver instead of uh, uh, Brunt. And we'll play Oliver as a poacher, and Adloy will be playing as an advanced forward. We'll confirm it. And we'll hope that we don't get an injury or something like that here in the second half, and we'll actually move down to cautious in our mentality and we do have a highlight here in the 67th minute hopefully it won't be for Enfield Town making a reduction and this all, all, all too exciting game once again the ball going back and forth a little bit and now Enfield Town taking care of the ball and it's a through ball and it is a reduction here for Enfield Town unfortunately making it 2-1 for Bad City versus Enfield Town and unfortunately we are missing here pretty bad in the markings and uh, yeah not much to say other than it was pretty bad in the markings there so and pretty bad actually somehow from our keeper or I guess that's due to that only having one shot on goal uh, we'll just move here to defensive in the 78 minute mark here I uh, will move to very defensive here in the 86 minutes and Paxman with a goal on a free kick making his 3 to 1 for Bad City versus Elenfin Town uh, securing this win here shouldn't be any problem and straight into the corner of the goal very nice there <coughs> But there is unfortunately, I'd say, a highlight here straight from the kickoff after that goal. Um, play down to Enfin Town and uh, the cross in are cleared by our defenders. Uh, but somehow they get the ball once again. Uh, but the ball is back in our hands and it's a long ball from Batten up. And uh, it's taken care of by the defense of Enfin Town. And a long ball up here. That is headed very bad by Hutton and uh, we are missing in marking and here a bad clear ball from Reek and 
uh, Enfield Town making the most of it on the right hand side now and across in uh, bad clearing and it's a reduction here for Bath City or, or for Enfield Town versus Bath making it 3 to 2 here in the 88 minutes so uh, pretty bad and unfortunate clearing here on Death Pass and uh, yeah perfect shooting opportunity and a very struck well struck finish there from uh, the player of uh, Enfield Town and we only have seconds to go here before the final whistle and the final whistle should be now hopefully so that this isn't the highlight and it looked almost the case and that's the final whistle so the final scoreline here for Bath City versus Enfield Town is 3-2 to two and shots is 10 to 11 shots on target 4 to 2 and possession 48 to 52 percent so happy with the result here uh, not that happy with the, the performance here maybe by the lads and uh, we have our keeper underperforming two shots on goal and balls in uh, actually making goals here for uh, Enfield Town and we have Hayden here with a very bad rating as well but other than that uh, pretty all right And we'll take a look here at the league table with three matches to go. So we are now still in second place, 10 points behind, behind Wellstone. Still, who are running away with it and can't be caught now. Uh, but finally, we are a little bit clear of fourth place, uh, actually, four points. So should be looking pretty good here going into the last third game before playoff um, to reach one of the top three places. Let's have a look here at the inbox. We can't top the league as uh, this news article says and uh, we had an attendance of 943 so pretty good and we'll praise Paxman here for his performance in the last match uh, we'll discuss the promise with Brunt here and he's unhappy that we aren't promoted but that's not sure yet And we'll go with this option here. I think that uh, it's a very good atmosphere and, uh, and actually I think we'll maybe even go with uh, the last option here. And uh, he liked that, that he liked the atmosphere in the team and everything like that. So that's good that we keep him on our side. So we might be able to sign him for another year if we want to do do that we'll see if we want to do that or not but that will be a little bit later when we have finished this season anyway this will be everything for this episode so do remember to smash the like button if you have liked what you've seen here and also do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Roslow Gaming thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye